Hey, hey, come on in. I love seeing all the familiar faces. Welcome, welcome. Are you all tonight? I'm watching my kids. It's I'm just watching them out the window here. It's, I don't know, I'm considering it summertime. <laughs> we are done with school and we're in summer mode. So. We're going to learn all about how to use your oils for summertime starting now, right? How many of you are considering? I know it's still spring, but when May hits, how many of you are like, yeah, summertime, right? Even though the weekend did feel like spring, right? It was like 49 yesterday. I'm like, this is not fair. No way. I want... 70 and sunshine all the time. But we have to remember it is still spring, so we have those summer like days. Just gonna give everyone just a minute to pop on. I'm putting peace and calming on. I am loving peace and calming. Sometimes I go like in waves with that, but I don't know. I, I have like hugged multiple people just recently and I'm like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing. And they're like, peace and calming. I'm like, that's right. It's that like undertone of patchouli. I know you have to have like um, a love-hate relationship with patchouli. Like I love patchouli, but when I put pure patchouli on, I'm like, oh man, I stink. Even though it's like a tiny bit, um, like I can't get away from myself. But when I put peace and calming on, it's like just the right amount. And I do love it. Okay. Yes, Sandy, next week. I know, warm. I'm like, my girls are my weather. Like, they check the weather, like, daily. I mean, like, not daily, hourly. Because um, we're like, is it going to is it gonna rain? Is it going to snow? Is it going to, like, hail? Is it going to be warm? What's it going to be? Like, Saturday was supposed to rain all day, but it was, like, it was kind of nice, but it was chilly. Um, it is. It's just around the cor corner. Lori, you are in Florida and you're like enjoying this <laughs> warm weather. <laughs> not jealous, not jealous. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> so, okay. So that leads me into the question. Are you a lake house person or are you a beach house kind of lady or both? Do you prefer both? Just curious. I like growing up, I would be that person that would like lay on the beach and I would be like a lobster. Like I loved the beach. But now that I have kids, I just find that like a lake house and the easygoing water and being able to go back to the lake house or like the cabin or, you know, like it's just 
not as stressful. And then I don't have salt water in my mouth, but like, if I can go to the beach by myself, yeah, I'll take it. Um, so I'm a little bit of both depends on the situation. Yeah, Lori, either way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Zena Biggs, X E N I A. Anyone know her? Yes, Denise. Okay, good. Okay, so we have a little bit of both, a lot of beach, a lot of beach, some lake house. Okay. Um, how about poolside or creek side? Poolside or creek side or maybe pond side? Do you prefer the pond and the creek over the pool? I know that was like, that's like a, <laughs> that's a deep dive. Most of you poolside, poolside, yeah. Okay, if it's a private pool, yes. Private pool. Okay, some of you Creekside. So last season when we didn't have like pools were all shut down, we found some really great creeks. And oh my word, we had some amazing evenings at the creek where we would just take our dinner um, and we would just go and have a peaceful evening by the creek. It was so awesome. There was no one around. I'm not one for like going to a public pool. My sister's like, hey, let's go to this pool. And I'm like, can we just go swim in your pond? Like I'll get some of those big flamingo um, rafts and inner tubes. I just don't want to touch the bottom, no scummy stuff. Let's just like go to the pond. And she's like, let's go to the pool. So some of you are saying creek, some of you are saying private pool. Okay, so fun. All right, well, summer is on its way. And tonight is a night of just um, inspiring you on how to use your oils this summer. So some of you are, you've been using oils for years and some of you are brand new. Um, and I was um, looking through these slides. I found them, if you are, um, if you are sharing Young Living, the Grow Workspace is an incredible resource for you. Um, growworkspace.com. I subscribe to it monthly, but a lot of the things that I send out and um, sometimes I'll pull from them for our Monday night classes, but you can find Instagram stories. You can find um, sway links. So it's a great thing for your business if you are sharing Young Living to have this, you know, at your fingertips. I think it's um, like $15 a month, then you could subscribe, unsubscribe, get what you want if you need to. But um, it's some of the th same things that I use a lot of times in my business. And so tonight there was like three different um, summer classes and I was like, ooh, this one looks like fun. Um, and so I am already thankful for the oils already this season. And so let me just start. I'm already recording. My name is Sarah Stutzman, and I'm one of your um, Young Living leaders and educators here. I love what I do. Sarah Pohl and I share these, um, these Monday night workshops. And if anyone has something special to share or some, um, something that you feel passionate about, please do let us know because we don't always have to be sharing because we, we love to spotlight those of you that love your oils and have um, just a niche that you want to share too. So um, I'm already thankful for these oils. What are you thankful for so far in this season, this spring season, being outside? How have you used your oils um, in the springtime season that you are thankful for? And as you're commenting, um, I already see them coming through. Mine are just being a mom. I have a boo-boo spray that I shared. And if you're in our community, I, um, I, I sent that out via email on Sunday. My friend Dominique, she collaborates with me and she puts together our email list. And if you have not gotten that, please let me know. But that goes out to all my members. But that boo-boo spray is lavender and frankincense and melrose. If you don't have melrose, that's, oh, that's one that you want to put on your list. Mm -hmm. It's all the tea tree oils plus clove and rosemary. It is a powerhouse blend from Young Living. If you don't have it right now, you can use tea tree, but it's lavender, frankincense, tea tree, some aloe vera juice and witch hazel. And I spray that on my kids' um, boo-boos and cuts. And I feel like when we have more skin that is showing, I don't know, I, I, I say that my kids have to get their 
spring and summer legs because as soon as we get outdoors, I mean, we're always outdoors, but when we get outdoors without, like when we have like shorts on and tank tops and short sleeves, I feel like there's more boo-boos that happen. We're climbing trees, we're riding bikes, we're, we're doing all these like adventurous things um, and we get lots of scrapes. And so I'm thankful for all of those skin soothing oils, plus um, those muscle supporting oils like Pan Away, Deep Relief. And now we have the CBD, Hala, like CBD muscle rub. That is my absolute favorite. So um, the seasonal support, yes, you wrote that Denise lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Put that in the diffuser, put it in a roller bottle with some carrier oil. I usually do like 20 drops of each. You can start with 10 drops of each and then roll it on like your um, sinus cavities, temples, back of neck for seasonal support. Peppermint for ants, yes, 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 yes. Um, Diffuser out with citronella or purification to keep the bugs away. Lemongrass, uh -huh, another one for pest control. Yes, all these good ones. And um, I don't know about you guys, but if you have been part of Young Living, they, I feel like they gave away citronella for some of the promos or the gift with purchase a lot. And I reached into my stash and I have five bottles of citronella. So if you're like, what do I do with this citronella? Um, put it in your diffuser, take your diffuser out on the porch. Um, you can also, I just saw this fun idea. You can put citronella in some water with some floating candles out on your porch and it will help repel insects. So a bunch of citronella, get some unscented floated candles. You can have some ambiance, right? and you can keep those pests away. So something fun that you can do. I don't know where I saw that, but I saw it somewhere. Um, yeah, so let's get this started. Have a fun little slideshow for you. And anyone that joins tonight gets a fun recipe book. Okay. Let me see here. Okay, so this is called Surviving Summer. <laughs> I feel like we, we have all agreed that you're either a beach house person, a lake house person, so we have some love of summertime, right? So welcome, welcome. This is gonna be some inspiration for you to survive summer in a fun way using your oils and using some oil infused products that Young Living has that maybe you have never experienced before. So let's talk about our summer skin. All right, guilty. I am not one to shave a whole lot in the winter time. Should I even admit that? But now that it's summertime, I'm like, ooh, I need to shave around my ankles, right? Or, you know, like in the wintertime when I go to the gym, I'm like, okay, make sure I shave around my ankles, right? Um, and then it like creeps up. You get those like halfway pants, right? Um, you know, the Capri workout pants. And it's like, okay, just shave a little bit, you know, a little bit further. And then it's like, okay, now the shorts are out and I have to shave more. So the Mirage shave oil is great. You can use that as a shave oil, or you can use that as like an aftershave oil to moisturize your skin. Um, the Mirage shave oil I have used in many, many ways. I have used it as like a hair oil, there's a whole line of Marat. Like there is a Marat hair oil too. There's a Marat um, skin cleansing oil that I actually use as like a makeup remover. Um, it smells incredible, but you can use the Marat shave oil as a shave oil or as a moisturizing oil. Um, Cell Light Magic Massage Oil, I absolutely love. I use this, um, before and after I dry brush. And I usually, it's like springtime, like early spring, like March. And I'm like, oh man, it's soon short weather. I better get this, like get these legs in shape. 
and I will use that. I will put it on my, my legs, my butt, my, my arms, you know, like that part of your arms. Can you see me? Cause I know we're like sharing screen, but like the underarm part, um, my belly, I will use it all over. And then um, I'll do some dry brushing and then I'll get in the shower and I'll get out and I'll use it again. But um, really just use it. It's incredible. It just helps because it has grapefruit, it has letum. Letum is an oil that helps with releasing toxicity. And sometimes our fat cells are actually just like, it holds on, they, our fat cells hold on to toxins and we want to release that, okay? So I can't say enough about Cell Light Magic Oil. It does have grapefruit in it. And so any kind of citrus oil is going to be more photosensitive. So warning on that. If you are using, now it is diluted with a carrier oil, with the V6 oil, but I still will only use it at nighttime because I just wanna make sure that if I'm gonna be in the sun, I don't want to have burnt skin. So any kind of citrus oil will attract sunlight. So make sure that you're using it in a place that um, doesn't see the sun or you use it at nighttime so that it has a good, you know, 12 hours to, you know, not be so potent. And then the coconut lime replenishing butter, body butter, that is awesome too. It's really creamy and um, and again, that I know it has lime in it, but it it is cut with some, you know, butters that isn't going to be just pure lime on your skin. So it's great to put on your body after you, um, you know, shower and it's a great moisturizing lotion. It smells like the beach. Okay. <sighs> How many of you love the mineral sunscreen? It's like incredible. They have a 10 SPF and a 50 SPF. If you have fair skin, go with the 50 SPF. It just means that you, um, you, if you go with the 10 SPF, you're going to have to um, apply it more often. If you go with the 50, you're not going to have to apply it as often unless you are fair skinned. And so um, let me just make sure. I see two people wanting to join. Jillian Estevez. Denise? Yes, okay, I thought so. Looks familiar. All right. Um, Sarah Paul wrote an amazing um, post today that I found captivating. She's such a researcher. But here's the thing I always thought with like sunscreen, uh, I always questioned it. I thought, okay, sunscreen is supposed to protect us from the sun, but what is in it, right? Because sun. And then, you know, that could cause, or the sun could cause cancer if we have too much sun exposure and it damages cells. But then I always question, I don't know about you guys, but I questioned, um, what's in that sunscreen? What am I putting on my skin? Are the things, are the chemicals in that sunscreen actually causing more um, problems than what it's protecting? And so um, Sarah wrote this great post today and um, she researched that non-mineral based sunscreen chemicals can be found in your bloodstream after one use. Not just your bloodstream after one use, but also your urine and your breast milk. Hello, mamas, right? We think about the things that we're putting in our body that are gonna affect our children if we are breastfeeding, if we're pregnant, but what about the lotions that we use, the makeup, the sunscreen, all the things, right? Um, and so they can be found weeks after application ended. Did you know that there are now safe sunscreens to be used in tropical locations because of the chemicals that are in these sunscreens, they actually cause damage to coral reefs. If they cause damage to coral reefs, just because we are in the water that then goes to these locations, what is it doing on our skin and in our body, right? Like we're actually putting it on our body. 
But if it's causing damage to coral reefs with like, you know, we're all in this water and it's just kind of drifting out to sea, that's scary. So actually, Young Living, their mineral sunscreen is coral reef safe. Okay, so if it's coral reef safe, it's safe for us. Um, my, we actually made sunscreen before Young Living came out with theirs and we added um, carrot seed oil, we added patchouli, we added lavender, um, we added the, the nano, um, the non nano particle um, zinc oxide, we would order it and we would like concoct this stuff on our, on our stove and I would you know, lathered all my kids. We were such hippies going to the pool and then Young Living came out with theirs. So I was like, thank goodness I don't have to be making this stuff anymore. And it kind of smelled the same because it was a very similar um, essential oils, but it works guys, it really works. And then um, the Lavaderm after sun spray, if you do forget to put your sunscreen on or you go out and you get, you know, burnt, this is great to have two Lavaderm um, sunscreen or the sun spray. And then if you are a DIYer, here is a recipe for you guys. You don't have to screenshot it, but um, just know that there are DIY alternatives with lavender and peppermint and just some simple witch hazel and aloe vera gel. I mean, some of you love to DIY and some of you are like, I don't have the time of day and you would much rather buy. And so for me, I would much rather buy the sunscreen and we DIY the after sun spray and we keep it in our fridge and we shake it and we put it on when we, you know, accidentally forget to put our sunscreen on. And honestly, we only put sunscreen on when we are going to, when we go to the pool or we go to the pool, um, the, the pond or, you know, the lake. But if I'm out in the yard, I don't put it on and I kind of forget sometimes. And so we need this. So this is going to be in your recipe book. So if you want to write it down, you can. If not, that's fine too. Let me just make sure I have some people joining. Let me see. Karen, I don't know last name. So, okay. Let's talk about um, surviving the outdoors with our the pests, right? So we have the young living insect repellent and then the wipes too. I've never used the wipes. If you have, please comment. I love the insect repellent. And here is my hack for the insect repellent because it comes in this really big bottle as you see on the right hand side there. And it lasts forever. Thankfully they put a little pump on it now, but what I like to do is get a roller bottle and I fill a bunch of roller bottles. I'll put one in my purse. I keep one in the console of my van. I'll put one in our hiking bag. So that way I know where each one is. I put it in there and I'll top it off with some purification or a couple drops of citronella oil just to add some oomph, which you don't need to, I just do. Um, and so we will take that roller bottle and roll it all on ourselves. And it's a really easy application then because it's not getting on our skin. So the insect repellent that Young Living has is an oil-based, like a carrier oil-based. So it is really oily. So if you're pumping it into your hands, and then you're rubbing it all over your legs, your ankles, your wrists, your hands are gonna be left kind of oily. So that's why I love to put it in a roller bottle. And um, Amazon has these really big, gigantic roller bottles. Um, search deodorant roller bottles. They're huge. <laughs> so if you want something big, to like apply all over your body, you can get one of those. Actually, they come in a four pack, unless you can get one in a one pack. Um, but you can get bigger roller bottles and then you can apply more to larger areas. We also put this on our dog too when we go hiking. So you can, I mean, for that, you will have to put it in your hand and kind of rub it all over your dog behind their ears and stuff. Um, so I love the insect repellent because we were also making our own, which you can also make your own outdoor spray with some thieves, some lemon, some rosemary, and some citronella. This is one recipe. If you Pinterest recipes, there's going to be tons of recipes. This is one recipe. Um, and so just be known that like lemon is a, um, is a citrus oil. And so it is photosensitive. 
if you prefer to leave that out, you can, or make sure if you just put it, you maybe you can spray it on your clothes or like at the edge of your pants or in your hair before you go hiking, um, somewhere where you know the lemon isn't gonna rest on your skin. But feel free to leave this out. I know you can, you can replace that with purification oil, lemongrass oil. Um, again, Pinterest, like go to Pinterest, research some recipes, this is one. This is why I prefer Young Living Insect Repellent because it's just easy peasy. Okay, so outdoor in the summertime, I don't know about you guys, but if you're on the go, traveling, um, vacation, road trips, just taking hikes, going to the pool, like wherever you go, you have to take things with you, like food with you, um, because we get hungry, right? If you have kids, grandkids, they get hungry. And so some of the fun things to keep with you in your backpack, um, in your purse, in your car, when you are out and about, Ningxia Zing. I cannot say enough about Ningxia Zing. We, my kids, we're done with school. And so they're like, mom, let's go shopping. Not so much of an adventure, but I knew I would not be home to make my Ningxia Red and, and um, seltzer drink. So I took Ningxia Zing with me for a pick-me-up. It is a quick pick-me-up. It's an energy drink, but it's not going to be like the, um, the store brand energy drinks. So this has B vitamins in, it has natural um, energy from the B vitamins, the Ningxia Red, and has some seltzer in it too. So it's gonna give you that um, uplifting, um, you know, thing that you need in the afternoon. It's not gonna crash your system. The Power Bites, the Protein Power Bites are awesome as well to keep with you because they have the protein to keep you going, but it's gonna be that little bit of sweetness. Um, we love the granola. I don't know, what do you guys love? There's so many things that Young Living has. There's other bars that they have that, um, you know, we love to grab and go to keep us fueled. So these are just a few of things that keep us going in the summertime. Okay. I'm gonna get into some recipes here. Feel free to screenshot these, but I will um, be sending you a whole recipe book with these in it. So here's the fun thing with your oils. You can use them to make drinks, marinades, um, desserts. And so here are a few recipes. You can make a punch if you're entertaining. You can make some drinks, either alcoholic or non-alcoholic. So feel free to add the alcohol or omit it. But um, your citrus vitality oils are going to be game changers this summertime when you're entertaining or just making things for your family. So this is a poolside punch with some Ningxia Red, um, a lemon lime soda or some sparkling, you know, seltzer water. If you go to Target, there are there's like an aisle of seltzer water with so many different flavors that you can choose from. You can choose something that's even non um, flavored and just add your oils too. And then this adds the Vitality orange oil. So um, get creative with your oils. There are more drink recipes that you're gonna get in your recipe book. Here is an appetizer, a berry honey yogurt dip that is very low in sugar. So many yogurt dips, I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. Like fruit dips should not have so much sugar in because fruit already has sugar. Right, and so this has just a little bit of honey and then cinnamon bark, vitality oil. Ah, how many of you love cinnamon bark? Just a little bit of cinnamon bark. Yes, I feel your hands going. Um, and then you can also add, it doesn't call for it, but you can add some regular cinnamon. Um, that's the cool thing about peppermint, um, I'm sorry, pepper, vitality oil, and hang on. Pepper Vitality Oil, Cinnamon Vitality Oil. It's gonna give it that, that flavor. It's gonna give a depth of flavor. You can still add the spice. So this is a, a yogurt dip. Here is a Capri salad with lemon basil vinaigrette. How many of you love just like a fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, like incredible. You can 
give it a little oomph with some of your Vitality oils. Now here it calls for three drops of basil and three drops of lemon. I can see the three drops of lemon, but sometimes basil can be really overpowering. So you may want to drop it down to one drop of basil, right? And here's a trick. When you're adding any really high powered oil like basil to a recipe, you can take a toothpick, dip it into that oil, just let it sit in there for a little bit. And then you can take it out and swirl it in your marinade, in your um, any kind of dressing that you're making. I, because here's my fail, I was making a tomato sauce. First time I had my oils and I was like, yes, I'm gonna make tomato sauce. I don't have fresh basil. I'm gonna add a drop of basil and a drop of thyme. I ruined the entire batch. My husband is like, what is this? This is so strong. And so just again, with oils go low and go slow. So with that, it's calling for three drops of basil. I would start with the little toothpick trick first. And then if it's not enough, add a drop of basil. Okay. So go really slow with that. Lemon is okay, but basil is a very overpowering oil. Okay, here's a fun recipe for black pepper turkey burgers that calls for black pepper vitality oil. If you do not have that oil yet, add that to your ER order. Oh my word, black pepper oil is my absolute favorite oil for the summertime. I actually sometimes crave it. I'll actually add it to my Ningxia in the morning sometimes. Black pepper helps curb cravings. Right? A lot of people that are trying to quit smoking or quit a habit will add black pepper or they'll inhale it, they'll breathe it in, they'll put it on a toothpick and kind of just suck on it. But um, this calls for 10 drops of black pepper. If you're very new to oils, maybe start with two or three. Okay. But a lot of times black pepper, I'll take black pepper and I'll add it to like any kind of dressing. Like if I'm making a potato salad, I'll add like two or three drops to the, the mayonnaise recipe. Because, you know, when you make um, potato salad, it's like vinegar, mayonnaise, right? Salt, pepper. Um, and I'll add a couple drops of black pepper. So I go overboard. I'm like totally that 10 drop person because I love black pepper. So um, add that to your order. Black pepper is awesome. Here's some rosemary oven baked fries that you can use some rosemary vitality oil. Um, if if you don't have rosemary, again, a great staple. I will add that to some sea salt. I'll do like two drops of rosemary sea salt, rosemary to some sea salt, and then I'll use that on fries, on chicken. Um, so this calls for rosemary and um, doesn't call for black pepper, but you can actually use the black pepper oil too in this. Okay. Last, I think this is the last recipe. Um, some lemon berry yogurt pops. How many of you have grandkids or children, right? Yes, okay, I see your hands. Like keeping up with the snacks in the summertime is a challenge. And when you get, when you get to like, I don't know, age 10, 12, they can do their own things. And so my kids are constantly making like popsicles they're making smoothies and they're adding all these like oils in and, and lots of um, fruit. And so it's kind of fun for them. So it's also like a craft and then something edible. So think about how you can like mix the two like craft and edible. So the lemon berry pops are fun. It's just really healthy, some yogurt and some honey and some berries and then lemon vitality. Okay, so on the subject of kids, if you have grandkids, if you have kids of your own, if you watch children, they are busy and they're constantly like, okay, what's next? What are we going to do next? You know, um, they're looking for crafts. They're looking for fun things to do. They're eating. And so how can we mix those things together? Well, I just showed you a recipe on how to like, you know, take food and make it something that they can make um, and then eat something that's healthy. But now Kids are so into slime. I don't get the whole slime thing, right? How many of you get the whole slime thing? 
it ends up in my carpet or on my furniture. But if you can keep it outside in the summertime, that's fun. Um, kinetic sand. So think about this too. So slime or the whole kinetic like moon sand or Play-Doh, you can add oils to those things. So this gives you the option to put bergamot or citrus fresh in it. You can do lavender, you can do peppermint. So bergamot, just an FYI, is a citrus oil, okay? It's in the citrus family. A lot of people do not know that. But bergamot and citrus fresh, if your kids are using this and they're playing with it and then they're going out in the sunshine, just be cautious of that. So maybe you want to use lavender. Maybe you want to use, um, you know, peppermint or even rosemary, something that's going to open up their sinuses. You can add glitter to it. Um, so that's a fun recipe. So you can do this with Play-Doh. You can do it with kinetic sand. So think about the things that you can add oils to to help calm your kids, to help um, their sensory issues. Not issues, but just like sensory things, right? Our kids like to smell, they like to touch, they like to feel, and it just calms them down. They can also make some lip balm too. So think about things with your kids or your grandkids or those that you watch that are not just crafts. Like for, for our kids in our home, I always think, okay, when they craft something, it has to be purposeful. So many times when they were younger, we would make things and then it would end up in the trash. And I was like, whoa, okay, yes, it was fun for a moment, but how can we get their minds and the things that we're investing in to be purposeful? So a lot of times we'll make toilet bowl bombs. It's fun and it's purposeful. Here is a recipe for oil infused lip balms. You can put them in small tins or you can get little chapstick containers off of Amazon. Um, and it's useful, it's purposeful. You may end up with extra. Kids love to gift things to their grandparents, to their friends. Um, and so make your crafts something that is useful, okay? Um, so think about that throughout the summer because I know our kids just love to make, make, make. And I don't wanna be buying, buying, buying and throwing it in the trash, right? Make it useful. And then they can have like a purpose too. Um, what are some other things that our kids make? Oh, I can't even think right now. Um, bath bombs, they'll make bath bombs as well. Um, and that's fun that they can use that or gift it as well. Okay, so those are some ideas for you guys. I would love to know some things that you like to make in the summertime that you know gets your creative juices flowing gets you, you know, excited about summer. How do you use your oils in the summer? We talked about, you know, body support. We talked about crafts. We talked about um, things that you can do in the kitchen with your oils. How do you like to use your oils in the summertime? We didn't talk about travel. That was one thing we didn't talk about. Um, I travel with my oils all the time. When we go away, we're going away in a couple weeks. I have like a diffuser bag that I carry. It carries my diffuser. It has all my oils. Then I have another bag with tons of oils because I do not want to be without my oils or my oil infused supplements. We take Ningxia with us. We take all of our oily supplements. Um, flying with them. You can absolutely fly with them. I will put some on my in my checked luggage and then also in my carry-on as well. Just make sure they fit in your little like, you know, Ziploc bag. I've actually had some that don't go in my Ziploc bag and I call them my medicine. So I just say, oh, that's my medicine. And I never have an issue. Um, I don't know, things are different now. So I, I feel like I haven't flown in a really long time. So, I mean, I carry tons of oils with me when I fly. So to get the best deal, make sure you're on Essential Rewards. I know things are changing in this coming month. Um, you can do subscribe to save and you can get the best price there. You can get 24% off. And if you do subscribe to save every single month and it's over 50 PV, you'll get um, up to 24% off depending on where you're at. So you'll start at 10%. 
After three months, you'll go to 20%. And after two years, you'll get 24% back. So um, that is the best way to get your oils at a discount is to make sure that you are on subscribe to save, which is the newest version, version of um, essential rewards. So I think that is it for tonight. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to scroll through your, um, your questions. Okay, quick oats. Yes, Denise. Okay. The pure protein chocolate, honey, peanut butter, almond, oat, or coconut milk, and then, um, yes, nuts or coconut and your, your oats. Yes, because Denise, in the summertime, we are going, going, going. And so having a quick breakfast is key, right? Or a snack. Like how many of you would use that for a snack, like a quick oats, right, Denise? Yes. Great option. I absolutely love the chocolate protein shake. It's my favorite. It's like a treat. Yeah. Play-Doh over slime. Slime is yuck. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay. Oh, yes. The protein balls. Yes, Melanie. Um, my kids love making the protein balls. So it's like oats and protein powder, peanut butter, some like really good chocolate chips and I don't know, any kind of nut that you want or raisins. My kids love making those. It's like a cookie. They think they're having a cookie. <laughs> okay. Yes, Angela, lime oil is my favorite. If you don't have lime oil, get yourself some lime oil. It's like incredible. It's incredible in guacamole. Um, I don't know. I love summertime and using my oils. Okay, so if you guys have any questions. Um, oh yes, Karen, Ningxia singles frozen. Get those little Ningxia singles, throw them in the freezer and cut the top off and you have a popsicle. Um, that is like a huge quick fix in the summertime when you need, when your kids need a popsicle. Sometimes my kids will make, actually a lot of times, they'll get the little Dixie cups and they will take Ningxia Red. They will use our um, like grape, grape juice. I think they'll put like lime oil, orange oil. They'll just do like a, like so many combinations and they'll freeze those with a little stick in them and they'll make little popsicles. So that's another option. Um, yeah, so many fun things that you can do with your oils in the summertime. So I love this conversation, but I know it's like 842. We could keep going and going, going Lori popcorn with oils. Oh yeah. Popcorn with oils. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Maybe we need to th have a thread in our Facebook group, all the recipes, all the things we can do with our oils. Thank you all for joining tonight. I'm going to put, um, I hope I have this. I think I did. Yep. Okay. I have a form here for y'all. And if you fill it out, I will send you a recipe book with all the recipes we talked about tonight on the slideshow, plus more. Fill that out, complete it, and you'll get that. And you'll have some fun things to, to try this summer. Um, We'll keep this conversation going in our Facebook group. Thank you all for joining tonight. So much great conversation. And we'll see you back next week. Sarah Paul is going to be sharing about how to share. Um, super simple. How to share with Young Living, with your friends. And um, yeah, we'll catch you back here next Monday night. See you guys. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Bye.